Good morning, so it is stupid o'clock. Uh, I was up at 5.15 and I just did my hair and I'm about to eat some breakfast. I'm gonna go and meet Ariel at the airport and I'm so, so excited to see her. I haven't seen her, I didn't see her last summer, so I haven't seen her in over a year. So I can't wait, but I'm just exhausted. We had soccer so late last night, I didn't get to sleep until about midnight. And I had about five hours of sleep, so I was just like, oh my god. I'm having one of those mornings where I put on pants and they just, they don't want to do up. <laughs> it's one of those mornings. Let me go put some pants that don't squish my muffin top on. And P.S. It irritated him even more. I have no idea why. He's mad. Go away. People always ask, why do you have so many shorts? Only because I like choice. And for days like this, where this size is an 8 and it sure as shit is not going to be fitting me. Therefore, this is an 8 as well. But it's a lot more forgiving on the waist. My hair is extra bedheady, puffy. But I do like the length Brooke took off um, just a bit so it swung a little bit more freely underneath. Um... And the color is just a tad lighter and ashier. It's very puffy because I didn't shower last night after, well I showered last night after soccer but I didn't like get my hair wet and wash my hair after soccer. Let's clarify. Um, this is my outfit today for now. I just threw it on. I'm so tired guys. Oh my god I'm so tired but Ariel must be so much more tired. Um, as I said yesterday she is flying in I think from Colombia. She flew like Columbia to Texas, landed in Texas, texted me, was like, oh my god, it's freezing cold, holy shit, and then flew to LA, and then is flying here, so it's been a long haul for her. So I feel like this afternoon is just going to be one gigantic cuddle puddle. Here, de-puff yourself. One last thing before I go. I don't know about you guys, but I always associate scent with memory in like a very, very strong way. So... When I decide to wear a perfume, there's probably some type of a reason for it. So this morning, I'm wearing wow. Hypnotic Poison from Dior. This is one of the first perfumes that I ever bought. And it's kind of weird because it's not like a, a very feminine or young scent. It's more of like a really vanilla -y, strong, almost kind of musky scent. But um, I wore this all throughout high school. And all of my friends ended up buying it because I wore it and they loved the smell so much. So that's what I'm wearing this morning because when I hug Ariel, that's the first thing she's going to smell. And and it's going to be a happy moment of just good, happy memories. I'm excited. Good morning, Lola. How you doing? I made some tea for the drive and some toast. Chris's peanut, peanut butter, butter and honey. Toast. She's obsessed. Oh. I used to have peanut butter and honey toast for breakfast every morning. Really? Yeah, like without fail. Well, it's cold now, so enjoy the coldness. Cold and burnt? It's not burnt. I always smell burnt toast. Maybe having a stroke. Look at the moon! It's a full moon! There's Ariel, that white speck moving in the sky, right over there, right up there. Totally has to be, right? It's her plane, for sure. Definitely. Big line? Definitely. Like, yes, yes it is. I keep being zoomed in on something, and then I turn to you, and it's like, <laughs> Exactly what I want to say. Glenn's never actually met Ariel. Like, sorry, you guys are really bouncy, but that's okay. You just kind of have to stay bouncy. Um, we've been together for more than five years, and yeah, we've, <laughs> we've never been on the same continent as Ariel. So, uh, yeah, Glenn's never met Ariel. He's just Skyped, and she's been on Skype with us before, but he's never physically met her. Should be interesting. And, like, take into account, this is someone that's been one of my best friends since I was 13 years old. Like, like, I'd, I'd definitely say out of everyone in Canada, it'd be Katie and Ariel. We grew up together. Those those are my buddies. And yeah, you finally get to meet one of them. Yeah. So we have been driving for almost two hours. <laughs> and the traffic is absolute bullshit. Oh, so annoying. Ariel's plane landed, so I'm really hoping she... It's doing okay just hanging out at the airport. She hasn't contacted me yet, so hopefully she's just going through customs now. So we finally made it like two and a half hours later. <gasps> um, headed to the express area, <laughs> and um, Ariel hopefully will be somewhere here. <laughs> You made it! Oh my god! Hey! 
This is good. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Hey, Jack. Hey, like a racehorse. So we found a parking spot and we're gonna grab Ariel some coffee. Coffee and go pee. I'm so happy to pee. I'm so happy you're here. You guys will get to know Ariel over the next few weeks. She's my favorite person. I look so much more tan than you. I know, I'm so <laughs> pale, I'm really enjoying it. Before I forget, Ariel wasn't in Colombia. Where were you? Honduras. Honduras. El Salvador. Definitely not Colombia. I was like, she's somewhere down that way. I'm so ignorant with that part of the world. Can't wait to hear more of your adventures because I would like to go. So we're finally home and it is like a billion degrees. Um, Ariel showered a little airport grime up. She's no longer grimy. And I was just on a conference call for socialized stuff, which went really well. And it was hilarious because there's like six people on the call and there's a bit of lag. So it was a lot of talking over each other and it's good. It just took a while to get through that call. So it is now almost one o'clock. I'm freaking starving. Are you hungry? Yes. You must be hungry by now. So we are probably gonna go grab some food and or Groceries gotta go grocery shopping. I don't want to adult anymore. This week has been adulting straight up We thought we'd bring Ariel and show her the beach at Terrigal so we're showing you around I forgot my sunglasses and I'm very squinty I am doing a 3 p.m. check-in. What are we doing and where are we? We're having a beer at Terrigal Beach. She's having a wine. I am. That I am. I it's not very good. I made um, needed to try an Australian beer. Check out the beer. So we are grabbing some groceries. Did I ever tell you guys that these things are called rock melon here? Did you know that? A rocky. These are rock melon. <laughs> It's a rock melon. What does that even mean? I don't really understand. All right, so stop one, complete. On to the next. He's going to buy me flowers. Yeah. Thanks, Glenn. So Ariel has been overseas for like the past freaking three years, and she has very little to no makeup. So, my friend, Christmas. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's fucked up. Yahoo! Yippee! While Ariel sorts through <laughs> copious ah! amounts of makeup, ah! this is more makeup than you've probably ever seen in one place other than a store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, please take it. Help me. Help me declutter. It is time to pick our cucumber. Holy shit, that one's huge. I didn't even see this one. No, I didn't either. Oh my yeah! god. Da -da -da! High five. Yeah, cucumbers, cucumbers. Woohoo. Oh my god, there's another one right there! There's a fourth one down there too. Man, this is crazy. Our garden just went buck this year. We only got one cucumber last year. Oh Can anyone tell me why my tomatoes have grown? And there's lots of them. They just haven't ripened, like any of them, and they've been kind of big and... They're supposed to be cherry tomatoes, but they've been like that literally for, I don't know, like three weeks now. What do I do? Do they... Do I feel like pick them and then they ripen? Ooh, there's like, another one up there. There's another one back here! Holy shit! Look at... Jesus. Oh, oh my, my god, god, this is like Karen up. Puka's 2.0. Yeah. Karen's gonna be impressed with this. Uh, my mom grew over 100 cucumbers in one summer. And I guess we are well on our friggin' way <laughs> to catching up with that. Not bad for our first picking crop, hey? That's insane. So I am very sweaty and grimy and I just feel like today's been the longest day. And I'm so happy that Ariel's here finally and I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of my day with her So I'm gonna leave you guys here, but thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having an amazing day And I hope that something makes you smile today as big as my friend Ariel made me smile today And I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Bye.